hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how we can create one amazing word puzzle game using mit app inventor so let's start a step by step so first click on new project and my project name is word puzzle game and okay so as you can see that's our first screen okay now what i'll do here i'm going to use your layout okay and i'm going to use your vertical arrangement this one and i'm going to make this with and hide it Simple parent like this simple now we need here one label okay and whenever someone types something so we'll display in this label and i will make this vertical arrangement horizontal should be center like this now i need one layout is the horizontal arrangement only horizontal this one like this done now what i will do i'll make this with this fill parent like this and i'm going to use here click on user interface one button like this so whenever someone click on this button okay so this will display the a suppose this is the word like this i'll make this i'll just design this button 20 okay font size and background and i'm okay pink is fine okay and black is taxed and I'll make this bold done this is a font now I need here four to five fonts more okay like suppose two three four five okay and I'm gonna make just four only like this okay and I'll just change all this okay so what I will do here I'll just make all this thing in a center like this done now what I will do I'll just copy the whole horizontal arrangement one more time like this done now I need some words here so I can randomly say anything A, B, C, anything. Okay, so you can just type here B, then C. Now this is the design. Now we need to just use one button here to check this word is right, correct or not. So suppose this button name is check. Like this and I'll make this with this 70%. And I'll make this background to orange font bold and font size at least 18 like this and same button one more needed for delish deletion so just read it just make that text color to the white and make this text to the delete done so whenever someone click on this a b or c or something so this will write up here like this okay I'll make this as a blank for now like this okay and I'll make this hide at least 3% so design like this okay or 4% you can make 4 5% is fine done so this is the uh, here we whatever we can write here and we just need to press this buttons and we need to check using this we need to delete now whenever someone check then how we can display that this is correct or not so we'll display one label here We'll use one label. In this label, we'll, we'll display the answer A N S W E R answer. And that's answer font size 30. Okay, like this. So whenever someone says something, so this will display the correct and wrong over here. Right? Now I need one more media. Okay, and you can see the text to speech. Like this. So whenever someone the answer is wrong, so I can say like your answer is wrong, or if someone correct, then your answer is right something that text we will convert to the speech okay so this will be more interactive for the children's or for the users okay this is the overall part of our design okay now let's go to the block and whenever someone click on the button one so we need to display or we need to add a okay here in this uh, label and in which level so this label name is level one okay let's go to the block button one like this so when someone click on the button one so we need to add the label one value okay so set level one value and this should be make sure this should be level one dot existing text plus the current text okay so what's the current text for the button one so button one text current text is a okay so this is the capital a like this and i'll use the join here this join this the old letter if there is nothing then this this will display only a done so same thing we have to repeat for our eight buttons okay so like two three four five six seven eight done so this is the button two then simple is b 
then this is done okay and you can just you know hide, hide like this button one button two then we just need to use here button three then this is for c then again like this so all these are buttons okay done i'll just open this one only like this done now what we need to do now whenever someone click on the button check button it means button nine so we need to check the words okay we need to check the words this word is exist or not if someone say okay so now how we can do this so we need to create one list okay so for that list okay create and make a list we'll do that variable global variable then name it's a name okay so i'll use here one and two so you can make a list okay so suppose what words we can make so using this b a g bag we can make one word okay so it's a b a g bag another word is b e d bad what words we can make uh g h any any guess so you need to uh, make more words okay so what you can do here you can just you know repeat this also so like if i just suppose i so i'll use here g h i then for j then k and l right so i j k l so i can make the h i d e hide okay so for that we need to just do some code like 11 12 13 14 so you'll see here okay all these are the buttons 11 10. whenever you copy the you know horizontal arrangement this will whole uh, copy the code also in the back end block section 12 13 ways 13 this one g h i okay, i j k and 14 is l like this done you got my point right done 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 cool uh, this uh, anything button using nine now now we need to check this is the check button so we can make more words here so just item like this so you can add lot of list okay you can make lot of words using this so you have to use you can use the chat jp to find the words so i'll use your hide i'll use your three words only so you can add multiple words you can add unlimited words here okay now we need to check okay so for that we need to use your for each loop okay why we are using a for each loop the reason is we need to check the every words from our list and which list our name list this is the cat list okay because if someone say the hide so we need to check the bag then bad then hide if this will match okay then we can say oh it's correct if this will not match then we'll say it's a wrong guess okay now we need to use your if else condition if if and then logic is simple if the item is okay if the item is equal to the value and which value the value is label one dot text okay in this label we whatever we you know use the keyword whenever we uh, press the key so label one have the word okay so we'll compare that word with the item it's exist if this exist then then you see the answer is the level level two so in that level two so set level two this is level two that level two like this so the level two so the answer is correct okay so what i'll do i'll just use the text value and say correct correct okay if the answer is no then else else if me or else it's not match then it's wrong done now see there is one thing you can mistake here see if i have the word is bad okay and uh, it's correct okay then because we have a for each loop so this will run again and again okay so at the end this will check the hide word because we have write the bad word bd bad in that level so this will again say this is not correct then our answer will be wrong so what we need to do if the answer is correct then we need to use the break like this and the break will be here done 
if it's not big then this will loop again and again okay now what we need to do here this is the done whenever someone press the delete button it means button 10 okay so we need to just do one thing is we need to set the level 1 text value to nothing okay this will delete it that's it so you can use a lot of thing to you know to increase the score you can increase the score by one or something like that now what we need to do we need to use our text to speech so how can i do this so text to speech speech if answer is correct then we'll say uh, you are right right and uh, if the answer is wrong then we'll say sorry please try again like this okay so that's the overall done now let me just check how this will work okay so let's companion i'm using my android phone let's just check this let's scan this oh that's really great a b c d f g now let's we know that uh, the height or let's try some b c g and let's click on check button sorry please try again wrong now let's click on delete button and let's try hide h i d e then let's click on check you are right correct right so that's the overall word puzzle game okay you can do lot you can use the lot more method using this okay so we have used here one break you can you can use the while loop or some other loops also you to perform this action so that's the amazing app if you have any doubt you can ask me in comment thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye